Well, a very good evening to you. It is great to have you along for this much-anticipated game. And, of course, we want to get through it as promptly as possibly we can because, as you can see for yourself, there have been major weather issues today. The officials have made absolutely sure that it is safe, it's OK to go ahead. Nothing has been left to chance in terms of preparations. Those have been meticulous. And understandably, when you take into account these most testing of conditions, all of the efforts to ensure this game is played under normal conditions have been carried out, and we hope for a proper game which reaches its conclusion. This place, simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem now to match it Norway have opted for a 4-5-1 formation, it appears, Jim. Well, most teams that use this system, Peter, will work it in a, a way where, yes, they'll have a 4-5-1 shape off the ball and ideally a 4-3-3 shape on it. We often see that 4-1-4-1 shape too, and that has an obvious flexibility about it. It's a, it's a popular managerial selection because of that. It's just extremely flexible with all the numbers I've mentioned. So that's got things on the way. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Milinkovic Savic. I'll be keeping an eye on his long-range shooting, Peter, because that's um, something he does with real prowess. The stuff that makes the highlight reels, of course, but he also does a lot of good work under the radar, recycling the ball, pressing opponents, and generally bossing midfield. Well, quite no argument for me on that one. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. <laughs> Rukovina. It's a promising run he's making on the right. In comes the cross. been intercepted and that will come to nothing Kolarov with a searching ball and the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside Good run through the middle, but he needs support. Tadic. It's Tadic! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Tadic sparked a tremendous stop there, and a... Mitrovic! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. Well, I think the opposition was pretty sloppy in creating a problem for themselves then, but he was onto it so quickly and very nearly made them pay. Mitrovic dinks one in 
And they've been caught out here. Oh, he's been flattened there. It's Tadic! Dashing forward at pace. And it's Johansson. Johansson and full steam down the flank. Hit into the... And the finish! Oh, that is rather wayward. All he'd be thinking is, please, ground, swallow me up. Tries to get it forward quickly. Not quite. Positions himself well and cuts it out. Serbia get it back again. Brought forward. What does he try from here? Mitrovic spreads it towards the left. Pumps a great leap! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes work ultra-sharp. And this could be the final action of the first half. Up he gets! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. Cut it out. It's being played forward. The referee's had a look and he's blown his whistle for half time. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, and still goals. And after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change perhaps after half time. Here we go again. Well, the first half didn't really produce the goals we'd have liked. Hopefully they've been saved for the, the second. For that to be the case, though, we'll need to see more energy and invention early on. Savic unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. Oh, the ball's come loose! Real chance! Had everyone off their seats. Henriksen probably tried a bit too hard then. He should have relied on technique as opposed to power. Savage. Driving on now, what can they conjure from here? Plays it out to the wing. It's a long pass, but not the most accurate. He'll have a go! Very speculative with little threat, if any, for the keeper. Well played, he saw that coming. He's done ever so well. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. to shoot! He's missed, but not 
try that far. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. That is as far as they're going to go. Johansson battling down that right flank. Well, when the options aren't quite present in the box, it's the crosser's interest to, uh, to hold on for the support. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Going for goal! That's a half-decent try. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Serbia are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for a, a few moments now. Serbia merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. And the shot! In for the pieces! A real chance and a real let-off. Changes here from both sides, in fact. Well, the referee's seen the board and he's going to allow a double change to go ahead now. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. That's a pop! And he's there to make a great save. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Oh, he's broken through. He could be in here. He's gone for it! Oh, it's in! Finally, finally, finally! His position was perfect. The invitation was there for him. And his response, absolutely clinical. Yeah, and teamwork was key to that. A beautiful piece of uh, engineering to, to set him free in the box. Norway. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. What a game. End to end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just the odd goal. Norway, a little bit late, but in the end, it was great. Well, I just think that determination and persistence has paid off handsomely to, to squeeze the win out of a draw. Sometimes it comes down to grit and desire and the stubbornness to keep plugging away. And uh, this has been great staying power. And with that, it's time.